Hi, I'm Denise Hallecky, and it's my pleasure to share with you the story about a man I fell in love with who had a deep passion for cars ever since he was a little boy, Toby Hallecky. Toby was known to his friends and fans as the Car Crash King, and for very good reason, as you'll soon see. He owned the world's largest toy and automobile collection, over 100,000 collectible toys, and some of the most beautiful cars you ever want to see, all handpicked by Toby. But some of his favorite pictures are in front of wrecked cars. Toby was a man in pursuit of a dream. He wanted to make the greatest car crash movie ever filmed. Never dreaming at the time, he would actually make cinema history. He wrote, produced, directed, and starred in it, financed it, and distributed himself. It was independent filmmaking at its finest. He gathered every one of his friends and loved ones around to join him in making this dream come true. <laughs> they became the wrecking crew, daring to do stunts that only the best in Hollywood should ever attempt to do. The policemen played the policemen, the firemen played the firemen, the paramedics played the paramedics, and the mayor, he played the mayor. <laughs> All the pedestrians you'll see running throughout this film, they truly are pedestrians and they really are running for their lives. And you'll see this throughout the entire film. Toby did a 40 minute chase scene with his star, Eleanor. Eleanor has a NASCAR roll cage in her, which Toby put in himself, which she would surely need to withstand all those brutal crashes that they went through. There was no stunt doubles or special effects for either Toby or Eleanor. They destroyed 93 cars, wrecked hundreds, absolutely anything that got in the way. They did a famous jump. Toby and Eleanor went 30 feet in the air and 128 feet in length. Along the way, they hit a light pole. It was an accident among many of the unplanned accidents throughout this film. Toby was hurt, but he was a man with a dream and he was not gonna stop till it was fulfilled. He asked a friend, can I borrow your car dealership? I won't be long, he said. And as you can see, he wrecked a lot more than that car dealership owner ever anticipated. He had a lot of fun in pursuit of his dream. And I want to thank everyone who played a part in making that come true. We have restored and remastered the original Gone in 60 Seconds in honor of this great man and his dream. And if you thought it was an adrenaline rush before, hang on. And whatever you do, don't try this at home. So buckle up, enjoy the ride, and let the wrecking begin.